Today we have this incredible 2021 on a 21 registration Audi SQ7. It's finished in Navara blue metallic, which for me is one of the most elegant colors to finish these cars in, especially when you consider that this is a black edition. So all of the grills, the lower grills, the lower diffusers at the back and the splitter at the front, the mirrors, all finished in that gloss black. A really lovely contrast to that Navara blue. It's a really unique looking SQ7 for me. There's a lot of blacks and greys in the marketplace. And most importantly about this car, this car is a black edition with an electric opening panoramic roof. We do not believe in the market at the moment there is another one for sale with an opening panoramic roof. It's a one owner example. It's done 12,800 miles from new and it has fitted because it's full of optional extras being a black edition. It has the matrix LED lights. Now, look how cool those LED daytime running lights are on these cars. They're just an amazing feature and that's why I left it sort of unlocked or locked at the beginning of the video so I could show you those turning on. What a good looking car this is. Now, we're gonna run you through as much of the detail as we can. We'll start at the front end. What we're gonna first and foremost show you is this big front grille, all finished in that gloss black pack because it being a black edition, which is really, really lovely. So even the horizontal and vertical strakes are all finished in gloss black. And that leads me very nicely to the 360 surround camera system. And there's your front camera there showing you that. And then you've got these two big radar systems at the front here. That's your forward collision alert. It's a really lovely safety feature that this car has got. And of course, those incredible headlights, they're matrix headlights. So an adaptive matrix LED beam an amazing light system. Audi, probably one of the first manufacturers to, ma to pioneer the matrix system. And really, genuinely, it's an incredible light system. Coming around the uh, passenger's front corner, we've got these ridiculously big 22 inch, five spoke wheels. They are bespoke to the SQ7. They're the SQ7 alloy wheel. They're beautifully diamond cut on the faces with a gloss black inside trim here on the insides of the spokes and those massive, basically they're, they're motorsport derived, these calipers, they're floating brakes, sorry, the calipers, the discs themselves, they're floating discs, big ventilation on them, so a really advanced piece of technology in there, and these massive S, S line, but they're obviously for the SQ7, big black brake calipers in there as well, huge stopping power for a big car. Lovely little touches, little plastic flicks on the edges of the wheel arches, just to protect those beautiful wheel arches as well. Coming down the passenger side, that gloss black theme continues. The mirrors, the surrounds for all of the windows, the A pillars, B pillars, C pillars, and then this lovely, lovely little detail where they've just put this piece of trim through the center of the lower belt line of the car, all in gloss black with a lovely little Quattro logo in the back there as well. Really, really lovely detail, well done Audi. The car has a comfort and sound package. Now part of that is the keyless entry, so I just put my hand inside the door handle. The doors will open for me. Look down there, the lovely, famous four ring Audi logo on the drop down lights, and then just take a good look inside. Being the facelift model, this car is completely different inside to the previous Audi uh, Q7 and SQ7. We now have that amazing twin dashboard, the huge panoramic roof you're looking at now, the digital cockpit, everything is there and we'll show you so many more details of that when we get round there but what an incredible interior this car has and if i open the back door as well have a look at the space all of those rear seats there they are all on a rail so they can all be adjusted sort of different um so you can adjust the um the rear passengers foot wells so you can get more or less leg room depending on what you're trying to put in the boot um, and then just have a quick look here. The car has this amazing rock gray contrast stitching with the quilted leather. It's a beautiful place. It's a really, really beautiful place to be. Fabulous, fabulous interior and that classic Audi build quality just runs through the veins of this car. Another quick touch, even though everything is gloss black, the roof rails are finished in a satin black, which I actually think is a lovely little contrast there. And this little detail here We've got a satin silver bar that runs through the center of the tailgate there. And for me, that's a wonderful little just change of change of color. It just it just basically lifts the car at the back end. And the same, it goes very nicely with the chrome exhausts. Being an SQ7, obviously you get those massive quad pipes as well. 
power tailgate at the back. And huge, huge space. It is an SQ7, it is a big family car, it is a seven seater. All of these seats lift electrically. You've got buttons in the left here, just as you go into the tailgate there, buttons on the left there to open the uh, rear two seats. They will electrically lift out of the floor for you and then it becomes a very, very useful seven seater. Tail tailgate drops there, your reverse camera's there. And concluding a really lovely, aggressive back end to this car. Now I'm gonna jump in the driver's side. I'm gonna run you through as many details as I can because as I said at the beginning, there's so much equipment on this car. But I'm gonna jump in and start it up because the V8 in this car, it's a four litre twin turbo V8. It's 500 horsepower. It is no toy. This is a serious machine. And you just hear it fire into life. It sounds beautiful. I'll try and run you through some of the uh, interior features that we've got. So we'll go on the door card first. Memory seats for the driver. And then we've got full electric seats down here with massive adjustment as well. And I can run you through some of that on the screen inside. Obviously you've got four electric windows, child lock adjustable from the doors. And if I just pull this towards me, obviously electrically heated, power folding, electrically adjustable mirrors there. You've got a boot release for the electric tailgate from inside the driver's cockpit here. And then down here, part of that comfort and sound package we mentioned earlier is the big Bang & Olufsen stereo. For me, in a big car like this, especially a big family car where there's a lot of space inside the car, you need those big stereos. And this, this is one of the better ones I've heard. You've got tweeters everywhere. You've got two, if you can see across, you've even got two tweeters on the A-pillars. That's how many speakers there are in this car. It is incredible. I'll just clear the screen. I'll bring the steering wheel a bit closer to me so I can adjust it a bit better. You've got Audi's virtual cockpit, but this is their updated virtual cockpit in this car. It's their latest software. So with the new race car sort of inspired rev counter here that goes up and across. And then this, this screen is massively adjustable. So I can go to the navigation over here, which is now on the left-hand side of the screen, and I can change that to a full screen map. So now you have a whole map in front of you and obviously your speed and gear shifts go to the bottom. You can adjust that back but it's massively adjustable. Bluetooth, your phone, your music, all the car's warnings, anything that comes up, your fuel range, your trip, everything can be shown in that amazing display. You've got a lovely flat bottom steering wheel here, perforated where your hands go, that rock gray stitching contrast almost all the way to the inside of the steering wheel here. Very multifunction, Bluetooth voice activation, all your volume controls, all your multifunction screen in front of you, that's all controlled on the left-hand side. Obviously you've got cruise control down here. That's all adjustable on that stalk down there. And then we'll move across to this amazing center console. So this is all of Audi's latest infotainment system. You've got all your media, your telephone, your navigation can all be adjusted through here, but you also have your Apple CarPlay. So you see you have your phone apps here. You've got your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. That's all wireless as well. You just connect your phone and it will wirelessly link your screen up on here. You've got a button down here which is all your Audi Sense controls. This will change your driver assist and essentially all of the, the adaptive systems at the front to tell you you're getting a bit close to the car in front, so on and so forth. That could all be adjusted through that button down there. And then again, if we come back to the main screen and I go into the car, you've got Audi Drive Select here. You can adjust the suspension, the height, ride height, because this is four corner air suspension, how aggressive you want the car to drive. You can change the exhaust note. All of those sorts of things can be done through this system. It's a fabulous, fabulous system. And then coming down to the second touch screen down here, this is now where all of your climate control lives. So you've got your driver's side, your passenger side. You'll also have your seats down here. They can all be adjusted, your heated seats down here, three settings, they can all be adjusted down here. You've got your start stop can be switched off from there. Loads more functionality can all be done on the second screen as well. You've got your camera system here. So now you're looking at your 360 surround camera system. Obviously the driver's door is open at the moment. So that camera is not working. As soon as I shut that, it fills up, but you can see how brilliant that system is. Really high quality cameras in this car. And it also has active park assist, which is this button down here. Obviously you need to be near a space for that to work, but that's a really lovely option that this car, is, this car has, which is the active park assist. Under this panel here, wireless phone charger, two USB connectors, USB-C connectors, I beg your pardon. You've got loads of storage, cup holders everywhere, everything you can imagine. And then if you just look up above me, that amazing panoramic roof. 
just huge huge panoramic roof amazing place to sit and i love all the wood trim and the quattro logo built into the into the dashboard there it's really really lovely and just have a look at these seats they're almost a sports bucket seat but they're not they're super comfortable but a really wonderful place to sit great visibility as well this really is a special special car and i'll just switch it off jump out and summarize for you so as we said at the beginning it's a one owner car finished beautifully in Navara blue metallic with that black pack because it is a black edition. It's done 12,800 miles from new. The spec is out of this world. We know how rare it is with that glass panoramic opening roof. Those lovely wheels. I mean, all round, it's really, it's really got me this car. It's a real sweet spot. I really, really do like it. A fabulous, fabulous thing. My name is Matthew. I hope this video has helped. Thank you very much for watching.